Have you ever been suspicious that a friend or colleague is secretly seething with envy? We'll show you how to notice subtle signs that someone has a bad case of the green-eyed monster. And keep watching to discover the absolute best ways to deal with jealous people. If this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today we're sharing 10 ways to tell if someone is jealous of you. Spreading rumors about you have rumors about you been doing the rounds recently? Try to find out the source. Chances are whoever started the rumor is jealous of you. If you haven't done anything to that person, why would they make up negative things about you or want to start trouble? Because they're envious of your life. That's why. That is one way they'll try to bring you down. Sure, we all like to gossip from time to time, but there's a difference between having an innocent chat about somebody when they're not there and badmouthing that person behind their back. Jealous people often want to make your life worse so that they don't feel so bad about their life in comparison. If they can't actually change all the great things you've got going on, they can simply create lies and spread them around. Or perhaps this is a friend of yours who is jealous and you've told them something in confidence. If you start hearing other people talking about your secret and your friend is the only one who you spoke about it with, then you've got a sure sign that they're talking behind your back. And that is nearly always down to jealousy. Criticizing you if someone is jealous of you, they won't just talk negatively behind your back. They'll do it to your face too, usually by criticizing you. Does someone point out your faults to you in a disapproving way? They're probably jealous and want to prove you're not perfect to make themselves feel better. Real friends help you see your true self. They help you work on the things you find challenging rather than calling you out for doing it wrong. It's a sorry state of affairs, but people who are hypercritical of their family and friends are usually acting that way because they're even more critical of themselves. If all you get is harsh judgment and negativity, then you might want to remove that person from your life. But if their critical behavior is just a small part of an otherwise healthy friendship, then you could try to mend your relationship by talking to the person about some of the things they do that you really admire. Jokingly add that there are plenty of things you know you're not great at and they must feel that way about themselves too sometimes. Nobody's perfect, right? And with so many people ready to point out what you're doing wrong, it's great that you've got each other to encourage and support rather than criticize and judge. Competing against you Many people are naturally competitive, but if you know someone who always tries to do better than you, it could be a sign of jealousy. There are obvious ways they can compete with you, like in a test. But there are more subtle ways, and you'll want to watch out for those. For example, a colleague might show that they're jealous of you by trying to outdo you at the company party. You all have to bring something along, and you both agreed you'd come with a packet of chips and a bottle of wine. But then your colleague turns up with homemade salsa and lemonade made using grandma's secret recipe. This could be because your co-worker is jealous of you and wants to come across better in front of the rest of your workmates. As for talking about achievements, do you know somebody who always follows your announcements of awards or accomplishments with something that's a bit more impressive? They're fully into one-upmanship and want to show everybody else that they're superior to you. That is probably because, deep down, they're jealous of your successes. Embarrassing you has your friend ever left a snarky comment on a photo of you on social media? Something like, I can't believe you wore that dress again. If you confront them about it, they might make out like it was a light-hearted joke, but it's more likely that they're purposely trying to embarrass you. Why would they do that? That's probably because they're jealous of how good you look in that dress. They are envious of all the positive comments other people made. They wish they looked like that or that they got all those compliments, and so they lash out and try to make a dent in your happy situation by pointing out something they know will humiliate you. In another scenario, you might be going a bit too wild on a night out and your jealous friend draws attention to your silly behavior. They might even publicly reprimand you and deliberately make you look like a disgrace. A true friend might be concerned about something you're doing that they think is destructive or damaging, but they'd never point it out in public. They'd speak calmly with you in private. And although it might feel like they're criticizing you, it's coming from a good place. Ignoring you. Is your friend not returning your calls, or do they keep bailing every time you try to do something together? If you're sure you haven't done anything wrong, then this behavior could be down to jealousy. When someone is totally consumed by jealousy, they might find it easier to give you a wide berth for a while. Perhaps this is because every time they see you, they're reminded of all the things you have that they want. And by not staying in touch, they can try to forget about all that. Then there are the friends who don't totally fall out of contact with you, but when you do hang out in a group together, they try 
try to avoid spending any time with you. This can particularly be the case if they're at your special event, like a birthday party or work celebration. They might attend the party but keep away from you because your happiness and success make them feel worse about their own perceived unhappiness and failures. They'll often just disappear without saying goodbye, or they'll go to the other extreme and cause drama to get the attention away from you and onto them, making sure that everyone else then ignores you. Not helping you. We all turn to our friends and family for support when we're going through difficult times, and we expect our loved ones to listen to us, support us, and help us through it. But is there someone who never seems to help you out or never wants to listen to your woes? That could be because they're jealous. Picture this scene and see if it feels familiar to you. Your other half is acting unreasonably and you want to vent about it, but your friend tells you to forget about it and changes the subject. This might be down to the fact that your friend thinks your relationship is really solid and is jealous of it. They can't bear to hear about your issues as they reckon you've got it easy compared to them. They might think you're ungrateful and believe that they wouldn't make such a fuss if they were in such a good position as you. Maybe they dismiss your relationship troubles because they think your problems are petty in comparison to theirs. This can extend to all parts of life, not just relationships. You might want help sorting out your clothes to take to a thrift store, but they refuse because they're jealous of all of your outfits and wish they had enough clothes to be able to give away some of them. You know what? You don't need this kind of friend anyway. Not inviting you. Being left out can be a sure sign that someone is jealous of you. Take a look at your calendar and check how often your friend invited you out. Did your friend arrange a get-together on the weekend they knew you were away? Or did they leave you out of a big event by accident? If they rarely ask you to come to a party with them or don't seem like they want you at their special occasions, it might be down to jealousy. They don't want to stand next to you on a night out because they're concerned you'll look better than them or get more attention. This might also happen to you as a part of a couple. If you and your partner don't get invited to things with other couples, it might not be because you're annoying to be around. It could be the exact opposite. The two of you might come across as a really happy, well-adjusted, content couple with just the right amount of PDA. And when you're with other couples, the jealous ones amongst them can't stand to see your perfect relationship because it reminds them that their relationship isn't as good. Being insincere. If you suspect someone is jealous of you, watch their eyes the next time you tell them some good news about your life. They might smile really big and say all the right words, but you'll be able to tell if their happiness is sincere or not by their eyes. When we smile naturally, our eyes close tightly and crease up at the corners. This is known as smiling with your whole face. When we put on a fake smile, however, just our mouths move. Why not have a go yourself right now? Smile for no reason and feel what parts of your face move. Take a look in a mirror too. Chances are your eyes have stayed the same and just your cheeks and lips have moved. If they're not genuinely happy about your success, then they're probably jealous. The same goes for someone who pays a generic compliment or a backhanded compliment like, you must have such good connections to land that role. They might also downplay your achievements or point out negative things to bring down the mood, such as saying, you must be so relieved given how difficult you found your last job. Putting you down. Watch out for people prefacing statements with no offense, but, or ending a sentence with I'm just being real. It's nearly always the case that they're being negative and putting you down. This can be because they're jealous of you and want to feel better about themselves by making you feel worse about yourself. Some people are so jealous they actively look for things to belittle you. Stay one step ahead by keeping an eye on them. Check if they're ever watching you when they think you're not looking. They might have a sidelong glance at your top, searching for ways to demean you about your outfit or your figure. It's probably that they're envious of your clothes or body and want you to feel bad about yourself. They might even put you down in front of other people as a way of diminishing your status and increasing theirs. This could take the form of reminding you about your past failures in an attempt to devalue your current successes. Be aware of how they react when you tell them the good news. Rather than congratulate you, they might point out negatives like saying, don't get too excited, remember what happened last time. They might pretend they're looking out for you, but secretly they're hoping you fail and they're trying to put a dent in your celebration. Copying you. They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, but it can also be a good indicator that someone is jealous of you. Like if you buy a beautiful new dress and then your friend wears the exact same one. Sure, you might just have the same taste and it's fun to share similar interests, but there's a fine line between being on the same page and copying someone else's page. People sometimes deal with their jealousy by trying to have all the same things and this can get seriously out of hand. So what's the best way to deal with jealousy and envy? If someone comes at you with negativity, don't 
don't follow their lead. Instead, take your lead from a parable about an arrogant warrior visiting a wise samurai who was teaching his class. The envious warrior gave out a load of insults, but the samurai ignored him, and he left. One of the samurai's students asked why he tolerated the insults. The samurai replied, if someone brings you a gift and you don't take it, to whom does it belong? His students answered, the one who offered it. The samurai explained, it's the same with envy and insults. If you refuse to accept them, they belong to the one who offered them. What are your techniques for dealing with jealousy? Check out our friends at The Things who make interesting, feel-good videos about lifestyle, pop culture, and everything viral that is sure to keep you entertained. Have you noticed any of these signs of jealousy in your friends? What are other ways you can tell if someone is jealous of you? Let us know in the comments and give our video a big thumbs up.